So today I'm going to be criticizing the back government for uh, whatever, but you know, because I think there's some stuff they really don't stand on principle on and on which I'm willing to do. So that being said, uh, let's get into the intro. Flame, you just gotta go. At some point, this candle, I gotta blow. I guarantee you talk shit and let's see who wins this race. So, for those who don't know, the reason why I left MAGA is because, well, precisely political weaponization. Uh, and I'm, I'm voting independent, voting People's Party. But, uh, that being said, I broke the, the news on how Republicans are also weaponizing the justice system and the uh, political process in general against Joe Biden, the leading Democrat candidate. Now, in the same way, I'm not a fan of that happening to Trump, not a fan of happening that happening to Biden. And that was within the FY24 package, which basically says, contains critical oversight funding for the House of Representatives so it can hold the Biden administration accountable. Now, do those sound like words that are implying guilt or implying reasonable suspicion for an investigation? Now, me personally, I would say, yeah, when you're trying to hold someone accountable, what are you holding them accountable for? Something they do wrong, okay? Something they do illegal. So you're implying that Joe Biden is guilty of whatever he has been, which, by the way, isn't it that anti-American to be guilty before innocent? You know, I'm just saying, I'm an American. I believe in innocent before guilty. I think Biden is innocent until he's proven guilty by a court of his peers. Now, that's why I'm not voting Republican, because... An I don't understand this. Again, I'm almost positive if MAGA people in general saw that video, a lot of them would probably still be like, well, they weaponized you against Trump. So, okay, so basically the same excuse of a six year old being like, he hit me first. No, you hit me first. That's basically the logic here. Like, and this is why I don't, I hate how it's become such a sport. Red versus blue. Oh, which one's gonna win? When the focus should be policy. Look into the policy. Be informed about who you vote for. Okay? Look into what bills are being passed. Rather than just some dipshit on Twitch telling you that Israel's committing genocide while reading neo-Nazi tweets. Okay? And I'm also not a fan of the people who go like, well, well, well here's data and, and uh, the, the Biden's weaponizing Trump while simultaneously not talking about the vice versa regarding Republicans in general. So, hey, look, you know, t to each their own, I guess. Uh, as much as they, they complain about political weaponization against Trump, are you going to stand on that when it comes to Biden? Look, I'm not even a Biden supporter. Like I said, I'm not voting either party. I'm voting independent. Why? Because I don't like political weaponization. And apparently, we have gone so off the rims insane that we can't even realize that's a bad thing no matter who it happens to. Like, just saying, you know, I don't know, maybe that's reasonable. Hey, I genuinely hate weaponization of the political system, so I'm not going to vote for the two major parties which are weaponizing the political system against each other. I'm just, just a thought, you know, uh, just a thought here. But that being said... I, I genuinely think Trump would have lost that debate had Joe Biden been not so incompetently retarded, okay? And before you go ahead and say, oh, he's retarded, I'm autistic, motherfucker. Eat my dick. That being said, I'm pretty much out of here. Yeah, that's one of my main critiques of MAGA at this point is, are you willing to hold on to your beliefs and happens to your guy? I certainly was. But, anyways, peace.